If you have listened to 91.1 The Globe in recent months, you've probably heard or heard about a group that goes by the name Lotus. The five-piece instrumental jam band started on Goshen College's campus in the late 90s and has grown a fan base that stretches to all corners of the world. Some followers like Josh Lively have such a strong fandom that they don't just catch a show every year or two, but a handful of shows in a row, following the band city to city. Me and my fiance went to the Columbus show, the Cincinnati show, the Louisville show. Um, we're at this show, Goshen, Indiana, then we're going to Indianapolis tomorrow. This show didn't just bring out the diehard fans. The crowd also had some new fans who were excited to see Lotus in person for the first time. I have to admit I don't know much about Lotus, but when I went out and watched it, I thought uh, it would be something that both Rod and I would really enjoy going to. Lots of times that we go out, it's because it's something I want to do, and it seems like a band that, that both of us would really enjoy. While each performance is a special one for the fans, for Lotus, this isn't just any other show. It's been over a decade since they last performed in the city where they got their start. It's cool. Like we have a lot of connections here in Goshen. Our parents went to school here. One of our other brothers also went to school here. Um, so yeah, and college is just such formative years, even though we're really only here for um, three or four years. Um, yeah, it brings back a lot of memories being here and um, just seeing the buildings brings back memories for me of people that I met here and um, things that I learned and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to kind of swing around campus and kind of get some more of those memories. But again, this isn't the first time that the Goshen Theater has played host to Lotus. Twelve years ago, uh, I helped bring Lotus to the Goshen Theater for a concert. It was a huge success. I actually originally knew the band when I was a college student at Goshen College, and I've been a lifelong fan ever since. It might be a while before Lotus returns home for another show, but the band members want their longtime listeners to know that they appreciate their support through the years and for passing the torch to the next generation of Lotus fans. Yeah, we're just very grateful for um, people that check out our music, but yeah, people that have listened for so long. I mean, every, every night on tour, someone will come up and say, oh, this is my 15th show, this is my 80th show, this is my 100th show, which is mind-boggling to me. So um, yeah, we love that support. At the show last night in uh, Louisville, one of our longtime fans brought his daughter to the show, and she was a teenager, so it just shows how long that he's been listening to the music, that he could introduce it to her daughter. And here in Goshen, um, some of those original fans like gave us a launch ramp to start uh, music as a career and give us um, kind of the optimism that we could pursue it and um, those some of those people are still around and coming to shows and um, it, uh, it means a lot that those people are still listening. The show was a huge success. The band went beyond their normal catalog and even pulled out some old fan favorites from their time at GC. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Colin Eckert.